Hi, this is Asim. This is Sujoy. This is Amrita. And you're listening to Khandan, a Bollywood podcast about the three main Khans of the Hindi film industry. Amir, Salman, and Shara. Hi, you're listening to Khandan, a Bollywood podcast regular feed. Thank you so much for your support over the years. We now have a Patreon channel with bonus content and exclusive merch for those of you who would like to support us. Every dollar goes towards creating more and better content. Visit us at patreon.com slash Khandan podcast. Hi and welcome to part two of best of 2022 with Khandan podcast. My name is Asim Bernie and I'm joined with my lovely co-host Amrita and Sujoy. Hey Amrita, hey Sujoy. Hello, hello, hello. Hello and I hope our audience appreciates the pains to which we go to make this podcast because <laughs> technology yeah. is not our friend today but uh, here we are still. Yeah, even our recording platform was like enough with 2022. I give up. I can't do this last 20, 20 days anymore. So it gave up on us. So we're back recording how we used to back in the day. But um, yeah, um, we're excited. We have lots of things to talk about. We did a part one already where we were talking about, you know, wrapping up the whole year. Now we're just going to head into our top lists. Okay. Mm hmm. Um, what are we starting with? Should we start with, uh, should, should we start with, um, best of, uh, South in like non Bollywood? Maybe that would be a good way to start. No. Okay. Or is it, uh, how did you guys make your list? Let's start that way. Did you guys make a list? How, how was the process for you guys? Yeah. So, um, I basically saw at the list of movies that I watched this year and basically said, what E award can I give each of them because I am the other like IFA and Stardust. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so pretty much that. Uh, and uh, there's no thought process or really heavy brainstorming that is involved in this year's movies. Um, deservingly so because we watched not many great movies this year. And so that's how I arrived at my list of Top three, I guess. I, I can't even think I, I can go up to top five. Um, but uh, if you are saying like non-Bollywood movies, I think the one that stood out, I guess pretty much everybody would agree, is RRR. Uh, I don't think anybody can sort of ignore that movie at this point. Uh, it's such a humongous movie that it's, you know, it, it has now had a life of its own beyond the movie's release schedule itself. I think it's gone beyond boundaries and it's been enthralling audiences all across the world. And uh, I'm happy for it that it's reaching audiences where uh, Indian cinema previously hasn't. And I I hope that it opens doors. I think we have been speaking about, you know, the crossing over of Indian cinema into newer territories. And I hope RRR is that movie. It's been, you know... Indian cinema has been trying to do that for ages, what Crouching Tiger probably did many, many years ago. But I hope that's the beginning of it. Mm. I personally feel RAR shouldn't be on anybody's list. I think it's a known category now. So I think uh, it's kind of like, other, if we include it, it's probably, you know, gonna, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I didn't put it on my list, at least, okay. you know. And plus, like I said, it's like, you know, it's it's gone its own way. It's owned by white people now. It's not our movie anymore. <laughs> 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 it is Paraya Dhan. Uh, Exactly, yeah. exactly. Amrita, how did you did you how did you make your list and how did you go about it? I think for me it was very simple because if I went out to the cinema to watch something, then I did it because I was that invested in that film. Um, and so for me, it was fairly simple just looking at the list of movies that were released this year because I don't think I actually went to the movies to watch bad movies because sometimes you do that right mm. like sometimes you know a movie mm. is going to be terrible and you're like well i still want to watch it um the closest uh, yeah i may i made one <laughs> such decision this year <laughs> uh i think the closest i came was like i wanted to go for liga but then life intervened and saved me for myself um so mm -hmm. i didn't actually get to see it but um 
I did want to watch that movie. But apart from that, I don't think there were any bad movies that I wanted to watch. Um, like the 101 Akshay Kumar movies that came out this year. I wasn't, <laughs> you know, I wasn't compelled to watch any of them. Um, even on streaming, like they're just movies that were just so bad that I didn't even feel like watching them on streaming. So I feel very kind about my list of movies that I've watched this year because, um, they were movies that even if they didn't come up to my expectations, they weren't that bad. Hmm. And have you, is your top list, uh, top movies, uh, just Hindi movies or have you mixed them all up together? It's a mix of them, but like, I don't even know what I mean when I say top, actually. Um, but it's a mix. It's a mix. Okay. And so, Joy, did you rank them or is it just like a, like, is the ranking important in your list? No, I don't think so. I mean, whatever no. is ranking, it's all made up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a top five list that I have uh -huh. ranked because, okay. you know, uh, uh, I, I feel ranks are important. <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, that guy. <laughs> I am that guy. Uh, once a year, I am that guy. Then mm -hmm. I made another list of South Indian movies that I just put in the South category, like, a, you know, a regular uh, Pakistani that doesn't understand the difference. Mm -hmm. Then I made a worst of list. And then I had two more lists. One was underwhelming. So movies that, you know, after all, it is you podcast. There is a brand recognition there. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so the movies that I liked, but they were still missing something. And then I also had, a, uh, so I had a worst of list. And I also had movies that I just missed that I wanted to watch, that I couldn't watch. And these are movies like uh, Jhund. Jhund, is that how you pronounce it? Attack yes. Part 1, yeah. Dhakar, Khuda Hafiz Part 2, Raksha Bandhan, Jogi, Chup, and Phone Booth. I can't believe I did not support my Katrina uh, mm -hmm. this year, unfortunately. And I, But none of these would have ended on any of my list, I think. You know, I don't yeah. think they would have been the best, and I don't think they would have been the worst. So it doesn't really matter in a way. Um, so shall we start maybe with the South Indian movies? Is that a good way to go about it? Yeah, sure. Um, I, I watched a lot of them. Like I generally, I, when I started making the list and I saw your lists of what you have watched, I watched a lot more than you guys just generally. Mm -hmm. Um, and I watched a lot of South Indian content this year. I have not made the jump to watch any South Indian streaming shows yet. Yeah. Um, but I, the movies I've, I've watched quite a few already. So I, the South Indian movies I didn't actually rank. I just put the ones in that I liked and the mm -hmm. ones that I didn't like. Um, or there's two movies that I just did not understand. Like audience loved them and I, they did not work for me. I didn't get them. And these are two. So it's one, uh, Vikram, mm -hmm. which I just didn't connect with at all. And the second yeah. was KGF part two. Um, I both have been massive successes, uh, but they really didn't work for me because I think Vikram is speaking a lot to its fandom, yeah. which I have missed out on and I didn't get any of the references. Uh, there were elements that I liked, but the movie didn't have any surprises for me, uh, necessarily. And KGF, I just didn't enjoy. I just didn't yeah. enjoy that movie. Um, yeah. What, uh, what, what did you guys... Uh, Amrita, did you ever watch Vikram or did you... Did that one miss you? You know, I'm, I'm not, I was I going to... Anymore. Yeah, I was going to watch it and then it just sort of slipped by and then I started seeing Kamal Hassan on like all the round tables and then I was just like, oh yeah, I meant to watch this. So I will watch it before the end <laughs> of the year, I think. Uh, even okay. if Kamal yeah. Hassan did sort of annoy me at the round tables because it's it's all like it's a Kamal Hassan show like he, the man does not understand yeah. the yeah. concept of a uh, of a group interview so yeah. <laughs> uh, but I still I'll I'll watch it because um, uh, I mean it's a Kamal Hassan film like who won't watch it I will watch it <laughs> yeah uh, did you watch KGF Part Two? 
So I was really put off by KGF part one, which I've discussed before. Mm. And I know that I'm in a very like small minority when it comes to that. Yeah. So I did not. Not on this podcast, Amrita. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was just really bored by KGF part one. So I didn't put any um, effort into watching KGF part two. But I know it made like a million billion rupees at the box office and everybody loves it. And everybody's like, Rocky bhai. Uh, so uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a try sometime, but I, I don't think it's a priority for the remaining ten days or something of this year. Yeah. What about you, Sujay? How did those two work for you? Uh, again, like I'm totally lost on the Vikram fandom or the Kamal Hassan fandom or the Lokesh Kanakraj fandom. I really appreciated his uh, whatever universe is trying to create with Kaithi and this. Now um, I preferred Kathy to Vikram because that was more less of a star vehicle and more of a thriller whatever action movie and this was pretty much like the Kamal Hassan action vehicle and yeah when like even with Salman Khan movies when it st- starts veering into the Bhai image rather than a movie movie then it becomes too much for me and when you are not in on the fandom then it totally loses your interest you know uh, yeah. so Vikram didn't a- actually work for me um, and what was the other one KGF2 I, I did not you know have any interest in watching that because I start I tried watching the first half an hour and it was too loud uh, of part one and so I didn't really continue with the story uh, yeah. the one name that we haven't mentioned yet other than uh, RRR that we uh, spoke about is Kantara which um, yes is making a lot of positive noise around uh, a lot of the film discussion that is going around uh, right now. And uh, it being a small movie and it having uh, a really strong message, uh, very strong visuals and the climax that it has and people watching it as a theater experience. Um, We did not get a theatrical release here in the UK. I think we had a Telugu dub, which sort of appeared on Cineworld for like two, three days. And I didn't want to watch a Telugu dub of this. And I watched it on Prime and it was really something. I really enjoyed it. But again, like, uh, I don't know if I would consider it as my top three of the year when I have other... I don't know. Uh, it doesn't feel like a movie that I would consider like it's my absolute favorite of the year. So it doesn't make yeah. me list. Yeah, I was I was also kind of surprised by the hype of this movie. Uh, mm-hmm. I watched it recently. I haven't finished it yet, actually. Yeah. I enjoy it, but I, mm-hmm. it would not have been on any of my lists necessarily. Yeah. Uh, Amrita, did you watch Kantara? Yes, I watched it on the big screen, actually. And I enjoyed oh, wow. it. Uh, but mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I, like you're saying, like is it like the best movie that I've seen this year? No, it's not. But it is a lot of fun, um, and it does some very interesting things. Um, yeah. I think once you deconstruct it, it's probably less awesome than a lot of people are saying it is. But yeah. I mm-hmm. think it also presents a very rooted reality that is being misinterpreted by a lot of North Indians who are watching that film and they don't really understand yeah. what this film is trying to say. Um, mm. I feel weirdly, Sujoy, that I think people from the Northeast might understand this film a lot better than like people from like the North North. Um, mm-hmm. Just because it sort of feels more tied to the land and to yeah. customs in a way that, you know, like you won't find in say UP Bihar or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's more to do with folklore and folk yeah. gods and yeah. how it, you know, sort of try, uh, ties into your tribalness. In yeah, a way. exactly. And, and uh, yeah, I, I don't think people would understand that uh, from the North, I suppose. And uh, okay. I think, like, the movie that I don't think you guys have seen, is, but I really enjoyed was uh, Tirjitrambalam with uh, mm-hmm. Dhanush. Yeah. Um, yes. And that was very cute. But again, like, is it like top five cute? I don't think so. But I enjoyed myself. And it's always fun to see mm-hmm. Danush being Danush and like, uh, you know, having fun on screen. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So here's my top five of South Indian movies that I thought, right? Okay. So technically, still RRR is number one. You have mm-hmm. to put it there, but it doesn't really count. But yeah. So I had a number, uh, let's go back to fourth, maybe. Number five, I had uh, Talumala. Okay. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Is yes. Talumala? Yes. Yeah. I really enjoyed this movie. I uh, sorry, go sorry. Ahead. Can I just say that it's hilarious that uh, Asim can't pronounce Hindi words properly, <laughs> but the Malayalam one, he's like bang on. He's like, yeah, yeah, Talumala. <laughs> like, absolutely yeah. <laughs> on point. <laughs> but you corrected me last time that's why I made a note of it that do not pronounce the H I, I tried to you know like um, so yeah that that was my uh, that's my number five I quite enjoyed the editing of it it didn't totally work for me and I had a lot of questions about why a lot of things were happening but I think the movie moves at such a pace and it's enjoyable that you don't really stand still with the questions uh, that you you know you're wondering but um, uh, just the like you know the action and like just the choreography is just a fun time to watch uh so that's that's my number five um do you want to do number fives or how do you want to go about it should i just give my list the yes. whole yeah, list yeah, yeah, just yeah, go, yeah. go just for, go for list, it because yeah. mine is mixed like it's not going to be like uh it's not going to be like separated yeah. so you should go okay so Okay, so that's uh, that was my number five. Uh, number four is uh, no, sorry, yeah, four. Okay, four is uh, Jana Gana Mana, which I haven't watched. No, which you haven't watched. Uh, a Prithviraj movie. It, they were actually talking about it on that round table. I. I really enjoyed this movie and like at the end of the year when I was making this list, this is a movie I still think about. I uh-huh. think again, it takes a few shortcuts in its filmmaking for the final reveal that it's building up towards. Um, but I think the payoff is there and I think uh, I, I I enjoyed the intention of the movie more than the movie itself. So I'll give it, you know, points there. <laughs> so that's my number four. My number three is uh, Sh- Sham Singha Roy. Uh, that movie was that last we- year. Was it? I, I yeah. thought it was this year. Wait, let me see. I I, I made sure I googled it, but... Uh, but I think we all watched uh, it this year. Yes, I think that's why I screwed it up. Yeah, I yeah. I, I saw it on my Amazon Prime list. Yeah. That's why I saw it this year. It came out. Yeah, And the release windows have been so small. I was even confused yeah. with Pushpa. I already, mm, already uh, uh, saw Pushpa and then I crossed it out. So, okay. I mean, so that was my list. So I'll put it on there. We haven't talked about it too much. Uh, but uh, I thought this was a great movie. I thought uh, the production values, uh, the performances... Uh, I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, the one then I have is I've totally lost track. Uh, PS One, uh, that was the one. I yeah. funnily we didn't get to talk about this movie, and uh, Amrita, you were pushing that this was a great, great movie, and then we ended up not having a chance to really talk about this movie. Um, d- what are your thoughts on uh, PS? Did you ever talk about it, uh, Sujoy? PS One on the show or not? Do you remember? I think we, I think we you did. We, me and uh, Amrita did. Because you uh, and Amrita did. Yeah, yeah, because Sujoy had to come back and Wikipedia the whole thing because he was like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, As- Asim did the same, right? <laughs> you went back to, whilst you were watching it on streaming, you opened Wikipedia and tried to follow everything. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's such dense storytelling. It's such a beautiful movie. And mm-hmm. I immediately regretted see, not uh, uh, seeing it on the big screen. But I was really thankful that I wasn't seeing it on the big screen because mm-hmm. I would not have understood anything that was happening yeah. here. It's almost a movie that actively does not want you to come along. Like it, <laughs> It's a movie that it's c- clearly not made for the RRR audience. You know, yeah, it's like yeah, the yeah. anti-RRR to a certain well, like degree. Mani Ratnam is like saying, do your homework and come first, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, this, I, I, I kind of really like it. Uh, I I mean, it's such a grand scale. I can't wait for the next uh, episode to drop whenever that is. Uh, I love that this movie has a lot of, lot of dad bod representation. <laughs> you know, like, you, you, you know, where when we were talking about this, uh, Dakota Johnson has a face that has seen a mobile phone. Like, mm. these are tummies that have swallowed donuts. You can see it, you know. <laughs> move. move 
<laughs> it's moves and love handles galore, but these are like apparently also awesome warriors. So I thought that was really cool. It's almost unfair to put any other actress next to Ashwarya Rai. Like, you know, it's like you have Shobita Dulipali and next to Asha- Ashwarya, she just looks like a random woman. <laughs> it's like, it's terrible. But like yeah. the camera is so in love with Ashwarya, right? Like, like literally she's a painting here. It's amazing. And uh, I also enjoyed, you know, Vikram being Channa Mary all over India I, I enjoyed enjoyed that um, but yeah I really love this one I really like I like this movie I think uh, it, it doesn't have the scale necessarily in uh, action or even the CGI is kind of terrible a few times but I think the, the success is so that I'm hoping that they can improve upon these things in the next uh, episode when it drops mm. there's only two parts right there's more parts yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I think Mani Ratnam says like he wants to wrap yeah. it up in two because he doesn't have the budget and he's already yeah, finished okay. shooting it, actually. So he shot the entire thing at one shot. And then he oh, wow. released the first part. And now the second part is coming out in April, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this one. And hopefully, you know, I, at least now I understand enough of it to be able to comprehend what's happening on the screen yeah. uh, when it comes out. Uh, two movies that landed actually on my worst of list but then i added them here it's beast and uh godfather i was going <laughs> to ask movies. you if it's would seen beast because i don't think we discussed it did we i i can't remember uh, i we might have when we were um we were uh you were off or somebody else was off but yeah the, the beast was horrible 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 <laughs> And I've honestly added uh, Vijay movies. I won't get them. I won't understand them. Like yeah. Rajnikanth movies, I won't understand them. So I'm not just not going to watch them. You know, I, I think it's not for me. I don't. I'm not the audience for it. I don't understand how people like him. Like, they, like they see him as a superstar hero, and I just don't see it. I don't mm. know what they like about him. So if that that connect is not there. I don't think I can, because the whole movie is like hero worshipping. And I've watched a few of him now, uh, a few mo- movies of his now, and I just don't get it. I don't get it out at all what it was. Uh, and I think the same problem I have with Godfather that we did discuss, uh, it's when these movies become too much hero worshipping and I don't understand, I don't have a connect with the hero, then it becomes very hard for me to to understand those movies. You know, if we do this with Salman, I get it. You know, I'm part of the cult. You know, it's fine. But... Vijay or uh, you know any or there's so many other Chiranjeevi other heroes I just don't get it so I, I, they, these movies don't work for me unfortunately yeah um, I made good life choices man I did not watch Beast uh, <laughs> but I did watch Godfather so yeah. I don't know where I stand on that <laughs> I mean the Salman portions were the fun portions of the movie though I have to say yeah, represent I mean, hashtag I <laughs> for life you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As in bringing the Khan back into the Khandan podcast. Of course, of course. They're yeah. not making movies, but I bring them back, whatever they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, any others, Amrita, that we missed out or we have we should have maybe checked out? Any Anyone that you can think of? Mm, that was no, it, right? I think Where's most yeah. that was it, actually. Oh, there is actually yeah. one movie that I mean to check out before the end of the year, if I can find it on streaming. And that is a Malayalam movie called Bhishma Parva. And that has Mamuti in the, in the role, main role. And uh, it sounds really good. Like I, apparently it's like, you know, like Mamuti being like a movie star, which he's been doing like very, mm. um, like actorly roles for a while now so i haven't actually seen like a mainstream mamuti film in a while so i want to check that out mm. cool, cool. and i also wanted to watch uh, sita ramam which i have didn't yeah. get a chance to yeah. watch unfortunately that's the one that i missed out on yeah. and um uh, I think uh, the round table, there was also the movie from Gotham uh, Menon, which is now out on Prime. I won't try to pronounce it, but uh, that seems pretty good too, which I also didn't get a chance The gangster to watch. drama, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's, I mean, still, I'm still exploring South Indian movies. I, I'm really not there, but I think I did pretty good this year, actually. I'm, I'm quite happy with myself. Um, shall we do the worst of list which probably the worf, most fun uh, yeah. of it did you guys make one did you guys make a f- I mean I have list, only or? two movies on, on this and like yeah tell me yours then go, go okay so to list. begin with obviously Godfather which I did not get like it's so much slow motion it's so much of uh, just weird elements coming into 
coming together as a movie and trying to make sense. I, I have no recollection of what the movie actually was trying to do and I have no recollection of what it actually achieved on screen. So Godfather is up there, but the cake goes to uh, Hero Panti 2. <laughs> I made the wonderful choice of watching it at the cinema because why not? Uh, I was in India and Hero Panti 2 was playing and I knew it was going to be terrible because it's directed by ah- Ahmed Khan. And uh, what else can you expect from a movie that has, you know, Tiger Shroff? And uh, I don't know what it tried to do, man. This movie is so terrible on so many levels. It's just... I don't know if they are in on the joke or they are aware that they are the joke. <laughs> yeah, there, there's so many. I'm 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 just out of words. Hero Panti Two is just terrible, terrible cinema, and I don't know how they ma- made it happen. Uh, I think mm-hmm. I floated the idea that this was like a mo- money laundering project that Sajid <laughs> Kiyadwala was trying to, you know, spin off. Um, they had money to, you know, wash. I think through this movie and. That's the only way it makes sense. I, I just don't know how this movie got made. Hero Panty 2 is the only movie that I didn't finish. I just quit midway mm. and I was like, I'm done. I didn't want to do it anymore. And uh, mm. that was the only one. And I've watched a lot of bad movies this year. So that was like, you know, peak badness. Where the point I knew that this was not going to go anywhere. I mm. think the reason why we watch it because we like, we no, let's not say we like Tiger Shaw, but he's built up a bit of goodwill in our minds, right? I think he's working hard. He dropped war. And I think we were hoping that, you know, something decent might come out. But it's, uh, I think the problem lies with Ahmed Khan, like as a director, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like he's, he's sure. just, he's just terrible. He should quit. Like he's, he's a bad director. Like, um, uh, so, and he's gonna, like if he keeps making these movies, he's gonna t- hurt Tiger Shroff and maybe Tiger should stop working with him, you know? Yeah. That's how bad things are. Um, like, I mean, pick, you, pick, hmm? pick your lane. Ahmed Khan is a good choreographer. He's done some epic choreography in Bollywood cinema. You know, just pick your lane and stay there, man. You will do what you are best at. Not Don't try to diversify your portfolio by making <laughs> a music video into a movie. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the same goes for Remo D'Souza, who made Race oh 4 or whatever. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, terrible movies. Please pick your lane and stay there. Prabhuda also makes bad movies. Yeah. Like, is yes. this a trend? Like, are choreographers except Farah Khan not able to make movies? Yeah, Farah, Farah Khan is, the only is one. like, uh, you know, she has the filmy knowledge. She yeah. knows yeah. how yeah. to make a film rather than these people who try to make visuals into a full fledged movie. So, Farah yeah. and Sanjay Leela Bansali, those are the two choreographers that can actually like make films mm-hmm. and just wildly. Sanjay Leela is a choreographer? He used to be, yeah. Oh, what did he choreograph? Uh, 1942 and then a couple of other things. That's where he started. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, interesting. Amrita, you make good life choices. Yes. So did you make even a g- worst of list? Anything that you There's watched that really disappointed really you? really just one thing. And it's not really even that bad. But like, honestly, like it was just, um, it was just very meh. Um, and that is A Thursday with Yami Gotham. Mm. Um, oh, okay. And I don't know if either of you watched it, but if you haven't, don't bother. Like I no. <laughs> didn't, I like I knew it was going to be somehow related to a Wednesday, but I didn't realize they were just going <laughs> to go ham on it. Uh and they basically just it just it was just a very nonsensical movie. Like it made no sense. And the whole thing was mm-hmm. about like how Yummy has like uh you know, like steel in her spine or whatever. And I guess like if you are willing to give like two hours to Yummy Gotham being a badass as she talks to people and then asks them like the tritest, most boring questions at the end that is supposed to hold up a mirror to society. I feel like if that's your jam, then maybe this movie is a good movie. I don't think that that makes a good movie. So it was definitely not made for me. Yeah, actually, I I reviewed a Thursday and I, I, it's still on my good list, like not in the top list, but I thought it wasn't that bad. But uh, I I am more forgiving of Yami Gotham than you are, I think probably that's the reason. <laughs> um, my worst list is the let's let's go 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. I won't rank this list. It doesn't matter. The worst movie of the whole year for me was Liger. <laughs> Not only because it was bad, but also that it was terribly, terribly disappointing. Like it had the budget behind it. He was hyping it up like crazy, you know, right? Yeah. Um, like he, I was, uh, he was gonna make a hundred crore movie and stuff like that. I remember all of those statements, you know, coming off of uh, Kabir Singh or whatever was it? Was the original uh, Kabir Singh? No, Arjun Reddy. W- Arjun Reddy, right? He was like fully confident, right, on this movie. And it just was so, so bad to the point that when I go now and I go to the cinema and I come back and my daughter asks me, was the movie good or bad? And I say it's, it was a bad movie. Re- recently it happened. I went to some movie and I I think it was Vikram Veda or something like that. And I told her I didn't like it. And she goes, was it as bad as Liger? So this is like in our house, Liger is the limit of what something bad can be. So yeah. that's the level. And uh, yeah, that was this was so, so bad. And I really feel I'm in a way... I don't wish failure on anybody, but I'm happy to see that Vijay Devrakonda has to eat a, eat a bit of humble pie because I yeah. think sometimes that's necessary, you know? Uh, and also, I think, like, following the entire PR circus behind Coffee with Karan and how Vijay yeah. Devrakonda was the talk of the town throughout this yeah. season, and then yeah. to have that sort of, in a way, passively advertising and sponsoring Liger, and then... You know, we knew from far away when the first promotions happened, you know, uh, how bad it was going to be. And I stayed far away. I did not even touch it with a shit stick, you know. And yeah. 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 It's 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 a terrible, terrible movie. I don't even know. It didn't even get get any uh, traction on streaming when it came out. You know, it it landed there and nobody talks about this movie, you know. So, yeah. Um, so the other movies that I had here were the other bad one was Egg Villain Returns mm-hmm. which was utterly terrible I remember I talked about it on the podcast itself yeah. and I've just watched too many Tara Sutaria movies and I feel I should not I should get a prize for that or something like that you know she's a really bad actress uh, and I was like I remember the f- probably the first, the most interesting part of Egg Villain Returns is the intro shot, the way the movie starts. And I was like, wow, this is actually a pretty cool shot. But it seemed familiar to me. Like, where have I seen this shot t- done before? And obviously, they ripped it off from season one of Gangs of London because I was watching Gangs of, uh, rewatching the first season. And then uh. because season two was starting, I was like, oh my God, they just ripped off this. The only good thing about this movie was that shot and they stole it from Gangs of London so that was another one that was on my bad list Bachchan Pandey is there I hated Bachchan Pandey Uh, Kriti Senan what she has to do for a paycheck I I feel bad for what Bollywood is doing to her and then the other one that I really hated was Runway 34 uh, which I watched for Amitabh and Amitabh only shows in like an hour later which was Mm. terrible like I feel scammed like I was with that Dharmendra movie, which was that oh, that old yeah, last movie that was like a play. No, 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 no. no, no. The Rishikesh Mukherjee movie. You know which one I'm talking. Oh. Yeah, the Rishikesh Mukherjee. <laughs> oh, okay, chupke, 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 chupke. I haven't felt that cheated since chupke, chupke. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love rubbing it in for you know. <laughs> Of the classic. Uh, the people movie are going to come for you. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. Also, almost put Dobara here. Um, the Anurag Kashyap Tapsi uh, movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. Nope. No. Yeah. So in, I, I can say this now. I was supposed to interview them because they were uh, launch. Uh, they released it at the London Indian Film Festival, mm-hmm. and uh, I go in prepared. It's Anurag Kashyap, so I watched the original Spanish movie. I wanted to be like really prepared, and then the interview didn't happen. But I had like you know pull quotes from his interviews and it was like yeah he was like very like oracly as he is you know like i like the original spanish but there was one mistake that the filmmaker make made that i want to change in my movie mm-hmm. and so i was like watching it i was like what is this change that he's made and there was no change like i couldn't even figure out what he was like fundamentally making different uh, difference in and then we have also like tapsi panno talking about alternate dimensions and there's something that Tapsi cannot deliver. She's an amazing actress, but do not let her talk about alternative dimensions. It just doesn't make any sense. She's not the actress yeah. for it. So that almost landed 
on that list but i thought you know it stops you know i i like them both so i'll keep them on the list so this is my worst of list for mm. for me um shall we move to our uh, best of it's time yeah. no uh, amrita you want to start us off with your number 5 if you have one <laughs> Okay so on number 5 I think it's Lal Singh Chadda. Ooh okay. Oh, okay nice one. So I went into this movie completely expecting to hate it but I think it did a pretty good job at what it was trying to deliver like it was a feel good family film it almost felt like a christmas movie I I can't understand why it didn't come out at christmas time because that's Amir's time uh in as much as Amir has a time um and I <laughs> <laughs> I can now imagine you know in Tare Zameeper when he's the teacher with the joker thingy he is now dressed as santa saying it's armor time <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah i this movie like it was you know the discourse around it was incredibly stupid as we discussed during the time that uh, it was released and I still maintain that Amir made it out like okay like you know with the whole China release and everything but um it clearly knocked him back in a way that he was not prepared mm. for um yeah yeah he sort of seems to be um having some sort of existential crisis because of all the stupid discourse around it and that's very sad like i make a lot of fun of amir but um look at the end of the day do i believe that he loves cinema and that he has uh an idea for what he's doing yes i do like i criticize him but um i definitely don't think that he was dealt a fair hand and uh i i think it's shameful what happened with um lal singh chadda earlier this year um but if you haven't watched it like i absolutely like you know like i the person who <laughs> always criticize amir <laughs> i'm telling you that you should go watch amir um i mean lal singh chadda on netflix uh it's perfectly fine Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought we'd end up here? <laughs> That's how terrible 2022 has been, you guys. Like I am here recommending Amir Khan films. Yeah, mm. it's like that uh, Paul Rudd meme of uh, "Look at us here, look where we are." <laughs> <laughs> hey. So, Jai, what's your top five? What's your number five? Uh, so I have Lal Singh Chadda on my number two, uh, just to. you know uh show you how where it lands in my list um uh, on my number 5 is loop lapeta i don't Ooh. know if anybody remembers that movie came out this year uh, a remake of run lola run and i thoroughly enjoyed it i thought it tried to do uh, new things with the original concept and i think uh, it manages to inject some sort of a fun into the movie i enjoy tapsi pannu in it and i also enjoyed the little references to goa and the f- comedy that it has it's quirky and it's i had a good time watching it to be honest and that's why it's on my number 5 it's this is on my underwhelming list okay. i uh, came in quite excited uh, mm-hmm. and i hadn't seen the original in a while but yeah. uh, unfortunately this do- did not work for me mm-hmm. but i know that a lot of people really enjoyed it so uh, and i i still like tapsi you know so yeah. Uh, yeah um it's interesting i wouldn't have thought that this would be on your list but glad to hear it um my number 5 uh, i actually cheated guys i put two movies on my number 5 cuz i had too many more things <laughs> Mm-hmm. uh i have uh, gehraiya and kala um okay. both of those movies um gehraiya one of those movies that i i think we were quite positive on it when we re- reviewed it at the start of the year but yeah. I, it's been one that is i've been thinking about for the rest of the year i've been listening to the soundtrack i've been uh, you know it's also just a very ballsy movie to make you yeah. know um so I I still it's uh, and like we were talking about in the last episodes there's certain movies you think about and you are uh, you gave them a positive reviews and then you're negative about them but now it's the opposite where you thought they were okay but now they're even better in your mind and mm-hmm. I think Gehraiya we gave it a good positive review and uh it's actually grown in esteem in my mind and I feel it's might be one of those movies because it came out early in the year not enough people will be giving a shout out yeah. so that's gehraiya for me uh so Jay, you have anything to add on gehraiya yeah um it's on my sort of honorable mentions kind of a list yeah yeah, um, yeah. 
and it's like it's not one of those movies I stop and think about uh, anymore. But I remember actively having like almost a panic attack whilst <laughs> everything was unfolding yeah. in the final hour of that movie, and that I, I haven't felt watching. The, uh, a movie like in a very very long time and yeah. props for that and the way that yeah. it ended yeah. was also really unsettling and uh, yeah. props yeah. to it for that yeah and Ananya Pandey yeah she, she was, was great uh, in it, right? yeah. 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 yeah she was so, a good actor yeah yeah yeah, uh, we Deepika stopped calling her uh, yeah. like that was the movie that made Asim call her Ananya Pandey you know yeah. On the yeah, yeah yeah both Ananya Pandey and Kartik Aryan did something this year right like uh, mm. sp- uh, telling, uh, <laughs> pronouncing their names correctly Sujoy is like really yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kala is the second one that I put on my top 5 we just literally did a review on it like mm. uh, you know so there might be some recency bias there I did enjoy it but it might not be a movie that I want to revisit really quickly yeah. but it, it is a beautiful movie and I think it has a lot of potential it might be one that gains in popularity as you know people discover it yeah. uh, like people like Amrita who, who still haven't seen it yet yes <laughs> Number four, Amrita. Uh, okay, so at number four, I have actually Gehraiya. <laughs> like that was my movie mm. for number four. Nice. And uh, the reason why I have it is because of the, many of the reasons that you were talking about. Um, but also because it was just like a very well acted movie. Like the more I think about it, the more I feel the performances were under discussed and under appreciated um so mm-hmm. and it was trying to do something different you know what i mean like it's not yeah. your uh wait if you tell me that there's a movie with deepika padukone ananya pande and uh sidhan chaturvedi this is not the movie that i would have thought that would come out yeah so yeah. and deepika playing like an actual asshole like not even like a redeemable <laughs> one but like an actual mm-hmm. like horrible human being uh at this stage in her career like i absolutely give her kudos for it because usually when bollywood heroines they do something you know hatke as they say uh it's usually something like you know uh nari shakti and women's empowerment and like you know she's a martyr to the cause uh, to the uh, cause etc and here deepika is just like no actually like i'm just going to pay play a selfish uh sort of screwed up aimless person who's just sort of grasping and like doesn't care who she's hurts in service of herself and i'm like you know what good for you girl like that's actual stretching um and i really enjoyed it so joy number 4 uh so i have two choices um okay drisham 2 and uh, monica mm. my darling Oh nice 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 nice. I also have Monica my darling on number 4 so we can talk yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh why Drisham 2 the Ajay Devgan version? Yeah the well uh, the Mohanlal version came out last year. Um oh, but, was it okay. Yeah. But I yeah I I did not expect to enjoy it uh as much as I did at the cinema and uh, I knew all the twists and turns that were coming but uh there's something about um how ajay devgan plays vijay salgaonkar and also the addition of akshay khanna into this movie that makes it for me like you needed a sort of a, you know somebody to stand against him which tabu fairly did but uh, the addition of akshay khanna i think makes this uh, spicier masaledar uh, so mm. that's why drisham too and uh, monica my darling on my first watch uh, it was okay but i did not really fall in love with it I rewatched it again knowing how it was going to unfold and I picked up on so much more to enjoy with this movie the music is amazing and yeah. Uma Kureishi and Rajkumar Rao uh, like to rewatch their performances uh, was something special for me uh, yeah uh, I really thoroughly enjoyed Monica Mari Darling I'm exactly on the same page as you and that's why it's my number 4. I think the soundtrack is amazing. I've been watching that first title track all the time. It's like that's where my movie on Netflix is stuck because I just keep watching it and watching it. I think it's just amazingly done. Mm-hmm. Uma Kureishi man for the win. She is amazing. I've always liked her and I think finally something that, you know, uh, has uh, is doing justice to her talent after a long time. And this is one of those rewatch movies. It's almost like 
uh Jackie Brown Quentin Tarantino's Jackie yeah. Brown you know like the movie you can like a hangout movie you can put on the background and just like every time you pick something up new but mm. even if you are fully engaged with it there's so much tension such good performances and such darkness like a really good film noir you know mm. um also there's that knockout fight scene with Viraj Kumar Rao and Uma Qureshi like how cool is that you know like yeah. just like a drag out badass fight scene and Uma Qureshi like holding her own there's so many of those elements in it I, i that's why it's my number 4 um amrita number 3 okay for number 3 i have uh badhai do which Ooh, came out wow. earlier this year yeah like i don't know if either of you remember it even but like it was it's on my honorable mentions yeah. uh, badhai do yeah um so i thought that this movie like i'm still like sort of processing my way through it um but mm. i thought it was like really um i like the fact that it was talking about issues but in an indian context because sometimes a lot of the movies that you see or content that you see around say gay people um it sort of borrows the lexicon and the settings of the west so there's a sort of thing of like you know okay so like gay marriage and i'm not saying that you know in indian gay people don't want to get married or anything like that but i'm saying that they sort of borrow the language from say the united states or from uh the uk or something but and, and a lot of that is because the people who are driving the conversation tend to be you know city dwelling english speaking um uh westernized indians but in this movie they were talking about like two small town people and the challenges that they face and the solutions that they come up with which are very indian mm. and i really appreciated that Hmm. Yeah. It's it's I I I had low low expectations because I'm I was kind of like a bit done with that brand of filmmaking but this movie really won me over like even with my you know with my biases coming in. Hmm. I thought this was a lovely movie. Uh I really really enjoyed it. Uh but it didn't make my list unfortunately but is one of my honorable mentions. Um so Joy number 3 hmm. unless you had anything to add did you watch Badai do I haven't I I'll definitely okay. check it out yeah uh, since oh, you guys okay. are praising it so much um I think on number 3 I have again two mentions uh, uh one is Gangubai Katiawadi uh hmm. Sanjali Lavansali movie that we love to hate and hate to love uh, uh, but, <laughs> uh like uh, Alia Bhatt's performance w- is definitely up there as one of the strongest ones this year and uh, only because of that rather than uh, because the movie itself did not as much work for me other than how much memorable alia's performance was in this movie uh, the transformation of the woman she becomes and the, her entire journey um as a movie like i don't know if sanjali lavansali needs to take a break from movies like this and needs to go back to the drawing board but again this was a very successful movie so for him so i don't know what i'm talking um <laughs> and then the other movie that made it to my number 3 is jalsa which is a amazon prime release that came out mm, i think middle yeah. of the year uh, with the vidya Good balan bit. and uh, shefali shah uh it was a streaming release but it totally blew me away completely this movie was uh an absolutely well written well directed well acted thriller for me and i rarely had the time to breathe through this movie it was such a uh tightly wound movie uh, it was amazing uh the performances mm-hmm. are top notch uh the ending is top notch and uh, we have already talked about you know the movie title drops at the end of the movie it's yeah. such a baller yeah. move i still It's think about a, it yeah 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 for sure for sure um yeah great picks and uh, uh, they did not make my list but uh, mm-hmm. they were part of my honorable mentions jalsa yeah the the title sequence the performances the ending is really good uh, really think about it a lot my number 3 is lal singh chadda um mm. 
I mean, I'm you know where I stand. I'm the biggest uh, Amir fan of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I uh, this movie just has amazing rewatch value. You know, uh, mm. we loved it when it came out. Uh, the soundtrack is amazing. Probably might be my favorite soundtrack of the year. Yeah, uh, Karina is light in Carnage. She's so good. Like. Like talk about you know running away with a movie and just like making it her own. She's amazing in it, and it just has so much heart. And it's just like a proper family movie, you know. Like there's not that many that you can watch with your family and everybody can enjoy. And uh, that's why Lal Singh Chadda is my number three. I really, really appreciate it, and I mm. hope people still give it a chance and discover it. I think it's a lovely movie. Yeah, number two, Amrita. Okay, so this is a movie that you really hated, Asim, but I think an action hero was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, and I'm gonna give it its props just because it did everything right, right? Like it got a whole bunch of people who are not uh, nepotism beneficiaries, and they is like first time writers, first time technicians, first time director, all that jazz. Um, and it was funny. The pacing was just like really great. It was well made. I couldn't, if you, if I hadn't been told that this was made by a crew of, of first timers, I would never have believed it. Um, and it was, it kept me engaged the whole time, which is sadly becoming more of a rarity in Bollywood these days because <laughs> sometimes I'm just watching a movie and then I'm just zoning out and then like zoning back in and that didn't happen with this film um, and it was something new um, and it was fun so I think that that's mm. my number two yeah I think even though I didn't like it even when we were talking about it I understand that people like it and I would not actively tell people to not watch it because it just didn't work for me but I appreciate mm. it and I under, uh, I understand why people like it so uh, I, I get it I get that it's it's on your list for sure and mm. it's one of those movies that I'm sure people are going to watch over the holidays you know and then in January everyone's yeah. going to be like why did it work like I didn't I love that I watched <laughs> watched it yesterday yeah. it was amazing my whole family loved it and then you know it's going to be the same old discourse yeah. mm-hmm. i might even be one of those people when I watch <laughs> it even. like you know like it's i i get it i totally get what you're saying um so joy number two for you uh lal singh chadda man uh it's my uh. number two uh, whatever has to be said about this movie has already been said, but we already did a full episode on what we liked about this movie. Uh, the compare and contrast with Forrest Gump and how it changes and improves on it for me. Like, um, I felt so much more heart and, um, you know, the whole uh, story behind the randomness of the universe and whether we make the decisions or are we thrown yeah. into this world of random happenings and if you know the whole existentialism concept it was so much more beautifully and lyrically uh, depicted in this movie and the lyrics of the songs uh, Kahani, mm-hmm. Tere Hawale, Karina, Amir Khan everything to do with this movie is magic for me I keep uh, like I keep rewatching this movie and it was pure magic I I just love 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 this movie yeah yeah uh, yeah uh, I think we've uh, all it's all on our list so I think we all kind of agree on it uh just different rankings uh my number two we're at number two right yeah yeah uh my number two is a thar um oh, oh wow yeah that's one of my yeah, honorable I, mentions I, actually yeah I mean, I, I, like I talked about it, I, I think when we reviewed it, I already liked it then. I love Hindi westerns. It's just a genre that I really appreciate. Mm. Uh, be it Lal Kaptan or be it Tashan, just give me it. You know, I, it's it's something that works. And I just think I kind of vibe with Harshvardhan as whatever mm. he's interested in. It seems to be what I'm also interested in. I don't think anything that he's done has not worked for me. Um, you know, even uh, the first movie, what was it called? Mirzia, Marzia, whatever it was. I, I kind of liked it. I was the only one in the, the screening that came out that kind of enjoyed it uh and then anil kapoor is in it you know like this this is all you know things i lap up uh uh so yeah i'm i'm i feel this movie didn't get its due 
Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it might be because people don't vibe with Harshvardhan or it came out as like a proper streaming release and people don't talk about it enough. Yeah. Um, but I feel it's gotten lost somewhere and that's why I wanted to bring it back. And it's definitely my number two from all of the movies I've seen. So that's Thar. <sighs> Top top. Uh, do you want to add anything to that? I, I imagine. I, I imagine it's not on either of your lists. No, no, but it is an honorable mention on mine. Like I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Anil Kapoor was really great, um, and they really worked with Harshvardhan's like lack of expression. So that really worked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, top movie. Top top. Amrita, you want to go first? Mine is Jalsa. Ooh, Ooh, that's why you were so quiet last yes. time. Tell, tell, tell. Uh, no, this was just like amazing. Like the tension in that movie was insane. Like I was so unsettled the entire time, and it was it was insane. Like I, the performances, like Shafali Shah, just blew me away. Um, and Vidya Balan again, like, you know, like this seems to be the year of the, um, unlikable female protagonist, whether it's Alia in Gangubai or whether it's, uh, Vidya in Jalsa or Deepika in Gehraya. But, um, I feel like both Deepika and Vidya, especially, they just like really, uh, pulled it out. And, um, yeah, I, this is like a movie that I was I keep thinking about on and off, um, and I think it was really well made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, wow, good pick, good pick. Uh, <laughs> I think we've spoken about it a little bit already. I think we all uh, all right liked it. I'm uh, glad to hear that it's on your number one. So, Joy, number one. Uh, so. <laughs> Cheating uh, hai tumne. I can feel the cheating laugh, whatever's yeah. happening. <laughs> so, like, my, my number one is probably pretty much on brand. It's Brahmastra, guys. I knew it. <laughs> what? I knew it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> like, I, I, like, no matter how much you shit on this movie, <laughs> I, I, had a, I had a blast at the cinema watching this. This was, yeah. like, everything I love, love about Bollywood in a like a very highly designed dharma package with all the memes that can come out of it <laughs> we have, we've been making shiva 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 tumne mera button chune shiva <laughs> How are uh, you doing that so well, man? How are you doing a good Adi I Bhatt impression? I'm like so surprised. It's, it's on point. Uh, uh, <laughs> Aag se mera purana rishta hai, Aisha. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I freaking love this movie, man. Uh, for the genre that it's trying to explore and the entire, like the conviction that has gone into making this movie that the you know the blind belief we don't yeah. get to see that and like at all in in movies today like especially with studios and every other you know corporate uh, producer involved in the production of a movie um unless there's sajit nandiyadwala trying to make hero panthi 2 with you know other intentions we don't necessarily see like a multi-year project which has taken all the resources of a studio over many many years and with many many crew members and it eventually conquering two years of the pandemic to make it to the cinema and you know the entire you know when jagga jasus was uh, yeah. sort of the industry joke and it did not do well yeah and how much we loved jagga jasus and i think the cumulative goodwill of jagga jasus's failure has gone to brahmastra being a success and that's why i love it man and i want good things to happen to this project and i'm really looking forward to the sequel that w- would be out i don't know when but i am really looking forward to it but also, uh, I have a cheating, as you said, <laughs> into the rules that one of my favorite, favorite, favorite movies of the year, it's not a Bollywood movie, but I think <laughs> it 
it's already made our you know hearts explode with so much um, fun. It's the legend of Mola Jetman. Uh, like we've uh-huh. already talked about it so many times on our podcast. We have a full episode dedicated to it. Check it out. But legend of Mola Jet, there's nothing like it. I wish there were Bollywood cinema trying to recreate this magic, and we will talk about that when we talk about uh, one of my categories, which is the underwhelming or the potential success that could have been. But Legend of Mala Jat delivered on everything that that promised uh, that was promised in the trailer and more. Like I could not have. There's nothing that I could have expected more out of this movie. It gave me everything and more. God damn it, Sujoy! I didn't even put it on my list. <laughs> Somebody is going to take my Pakistani card away from me, you know. And you know how valuable a Pakistani card is, you know. Like, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah dude. Yeah, Legend is. The, it's literally one of the best movies of the year. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. But I was just like so compartmentalized with different lists that I didn't even think about it. Like, yeah. which makes Legend even better because it's not part of any list and yeah. it is amazing. Yeah. Amrita, I so hope you can get to watch it one day. You know, me inshallah. too, me too. Yeah. Mm. Um, my number one, and I am so surprised this is not on anybody's list because we've been like teetering around these two performers being Alia Bhatt and Shifali Shah and you've not mentioned the movies they were in together, which is my number one, Darlings. I haven't um, seen it. I haven't seen it. Oh, right. So, yeah, this is my t- number one movie of the year. The things that we've talked about, Adia Bhatt, we've talked about Shifali Shah, and I think the they really are pr- playing characters here in this movie in a setting that's, you know, like a whole world of its own. Mm. Um, you know, like this uh, poor Muslim family of two women and battling this horrible, horrible, toxic male played by Vijay Verma, who's... You know, one of those characters that you love to hate on screen. And it's just like, like almost like in Avatar, you have that villain, right? Like Mm -hmm. played by Stephen Lang. You love to hate him. And Vijay Verma is like that, but like in like a very, very small world. And like the toxicity that he has. And it's, it's just an amazing, amazing world that they create. The use of language, the, the reveals at the end of, I, I, again, if you guys haven't seen it, I feel like, like just the love story reveal that happens at the latter half of the movie is just so lovely. It's so beautiful. I love, where this movie ends for its characters and the kind of where they end up and the success they have after going through all of the things that they got, went through. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, this is like one of those movies that really kind of stood out for me. I, again, I didn't go in with very high hopes, but when I was making my list, this was my probably my favorite movie of the year. So mm-hmm. if you take out, you know, Legend of Mola Jat and you take out RRR out of the equation, um, this was the one that stood out for me. And when I was looking at my list, all of my movies have been streaming movies, except for Lal Singh Chadda, you know? Yeah. Gehraiya Kala, uh, Monica My Darling, Thar, Darling, <laughs> Darlings, <laughs> all of them are yeah. streaming movies. None of them have been... Like the big ones, Gangubai, Katiawara, Wadi, or Brahmastra, they came close, but Jalsa was closer. You know, yeah. like if if you look at it that way, Kala was closer. Um, so it's 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 just been a surprising year. But yeah, Darlings is my top movie of the year. Oh, guys, you have to watch it, man. If you haven't had a chance yet, for yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, get yeah. get on it, get on it. Cool. Um, I think that's this part done. I think so. Sujo, you have some categories for us, right? Like, uh, yeah, you want to so, go through the Khandani categories? Uh, I have only three of them. Uh, so, the oh, so and we haven't prepared this, right? So, yeah, we're yeah, going yeah. free, free, free freestyling. <laughs> or, or, or four, to be honest. Uh, so, the first uh, category is the best performance of the year. Uh, who do you think was the best performer in all the movies that we've mentioned so far is it redundant if i say shafali shah because she just knocks it out of the park every single time so i was gonna say the same thing i yeah. uh, that was gonna be my pick to shafali shah uh, because of darlings because of jalsa and probably because of delhi crime season two right uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I i've got her as well so unanimous decision that shafali shah wins this award I would give like an honorable mention to Jaydeep Elawat for uh, yeah. an action hero. Action hero. Because okay. he just mm. stole the show. Mm. Mm. 
otherwise uh, the, popular category probably alia right like yeah, uh, gangubai and darlings and even brahmastra i think she she was amazing <laughs> in this so shiva <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be my ringtone man if we could still download uh, ringtones <laughs> that, 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 uh, like i don't know if you have any meme of the year of the, uh, the <laughs> No, but no. But what's your, what's yours? You're also Shivali Shah. Oh, yeah, Shivali Shah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the worst performance uh, of the year. Oh my God! There's um, so many. <laughs> I mean, I think it needs to be Vijay Devakonda. Right? Like, I like, haven't even least... watched the film, and I feel like it has to yeah. be Vijay Devakonda. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. the thing is like he, he like he put in a lot of effort in terms of physicality mm. but there's just one crucial decision and i don't know if it was him or what happened why did they make liger stutter i do not understand like mm. it does not make any story sense it doesn't have you know anything to do and he doesn't play it well he doesn't play somebody that has a stutter well so yeah that and then in popular category probably akshay kumar right like uh, like all of his movies were pretty yeah terrible. pick a movie like, <laughs> yeah kataputli bachchan pande uh, raksha bandhan probably the best out of the all then prithviraj right ram setu uh, ram setu like what a f- what a terrible terrible year for him like yeah and he is apparently going to uh, have a release every two months next year as well so <laughs> it's <okay>. like <laughs> oh my god is this going to continue my my award goes to tara sutaria for hero panti 2 um oh right yeah. right yeah. yeah um the next uh, award category is the rewatch reward of the year so what movie that you rewatched and it was really rewardful for you hmm hmm well i mean uh, amrita you want to go first no because like i don't think i was rewatching anything like that hmm <laughs> how yeah. about you hasan I think for me uh, I think I mentioned it a few times I think uh, kind of uh, Monica oh my darling and mm-hmm. Gehraiya probably both fall into that category for me yeah uh, and then two others I'm going to add is uh, Lal Singh Chadda uh, because I literally said that it has amazing rewatch value and the last one is Brahmastra which mm-hmm. I just think it's a fun fun movie you know it's yeah. it's a really good movie so those are probably going to be my four I think uh if i have to pick one uh, probably lal singh i guess or monica my darling one of those two yeah i've yeah, been same, uh, same for me i've been rewatching bits and pieces of pony and selvan though like um right because hmm. the there's like certain songs and like set pieces that i like really enjoy and then i've been rewatching hmm. but you know how i rewatch like i rewatch bits and pieces i don't rewatch the entire thing so it's really hard hmm. for me hmm. to say Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh time for the next category which is the best soundtrack or the best music of the year or the best song the the song that you streamed the most uh, throughout the year so either of those or both of those Nice nice uh Amrita? Amrita? So for me the album of the year was Shamshera like I love oh. that album I know I've said this before and I'm the only one that <laughs> feels it that way but I love it like Babulaisa <laughs> Hoshia <laughs> <laughs> like it is so 80s like i love it, it they're yeah. like proper anthems i love it i play it all the time i'm still playing them and i enjoy it so much um i also replay a lot of uh, punin selvan um mm. and uh, i also watch a lot of punin selvan so shamshera i don't particularly rewatch the songs as much but i rewatch uh, devaralam natam and uh, chola chola like all the time like mm-hmm. those are like two of my favorite songs on that album um and then i really enjoy jeda nasha like from an action oh. hero uh it's yeah. a proper bop um <laughs> and then what other oh you know <laughs> the song from liga uh where ananya and <laughs> which they were called are like akadi pakdu akadu pakdu the other one the one that they're in thailand on the beach uh with the rape song yeah 
<laughs> that one. Um, what's what's happening? I, <laughs> what is happening? I, I haven't. Like I only took out five feminist points last time, and <laughs> now you're. This is your song. <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't know. Like I, uh, I thought like that was like a fun song, and then it was like oh, and uh, from. Um, uh okay this is kind of weird but like you know from uh gangubai kathiawadi the um the uh not garba what do you call it? Uh, dholida uh the mm. dholida song but like in the movie it's like whatever to me but the i really enjoy like i usually don't but i really enjoyed watching other people recreate that song on social media on reels yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh it was like probably one of my favorite Bollywood themed reels uh throughout the year. Right. It was yeah. the Prem Ratan Dhan Payo of yes. the year. Payo. Hmm? <laughs> 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 uh for me it was like uh, the soundtrack of the year was Lal Singh Chanta. Tere Hawale and Kahani just make everything for me. They are everything for me. Um, I also enjoyed Gehraiya's Duve a lot because it's such a funky, groovy song. Jeda Nasha, as Amrita mentioned, uh, Dholida for the reels uh, life that it uh, that it has. And I think the most streamed song, sadly, is Kesariya for me from Brahmastra. Oh, yeah. And yeah. especially the remix that they... Like, I've listened more to the new remix that they did than the original one. Oh, okay. No, I, I stick with the original. Oh, okay. A- and, and the Telugu version sung by... Um, what's his face? <laughs> uh, Sid Sri Ram. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about you? Um, I mean, honestly, this is just a numbers game. Like, for mm. me, clearly, uh, Lal Singh Chadda. It's Phir uh, Aisi Raat Na Aegi and Tere Hawale. I've just listened to them way too much. Mm. But I think what is going to... Ha- so, and then I also need to add the title track of Monica, oh My Darling, which I think is lovely. Like, that mm. first song is, like, such an 80s track. Uh, but... Swerve, swerve, I think Besharam Rang might <laughs> creep up from behind and literally take over, yeah. you know, everything in the last few weeks. Well, and, you know, we're talking... Can we say, can we include Besharam Rang? Because I've been, like, watching it on repeat, like, <laughs> over the yeah. past week. I mean, the song well, dropped before in 2022, right? Even though the movie hasn't. So I think, yeah, it, we, I'm, yeah that's why I'm kind of not sure if we could include it. But what I wanted to say is, because you were talking about Payo Payo, right? I'm just mm-hmm. happy that there's no insta real dances on this song. Nobody dares. You know, like nobody's like <laughs> humping on Instagram for this song, you know? So, uh, yeah, that I kind of appreciate that. <laughs> okay. The final category in my uh, list is the lost potential. So whatever could have been improved and so much potential was yes. shown on screen, but it didn't deliver at the end. Uh, Amrita, do you have any such things that you saw and yes. you there's, wish that it could happen so much more differently yes. and be- in much better ways. There's two movies actually. One is Gangu mm-hmm. by Kathiawadi. Um, okay. Because oh, I wow. feel like uh, see this is the problem with Sanjay Leela Bansali. The man cannot imagine the concept of a life that is lived outside of a movie lens. So he just mm. like Everything that he is talking about, like in that movie, it's important. It's really like there's so many human moments that could have been shown on screen. But because he wants to pretty it up, because he has this sort of nostalgic lens through which everything must be filtered and everything must be sort of like, I've said this before, it's all very hermetically sealed. You know, it's like you're watching a snow globe in action rather than a movie. Um, so that's basically what let that movie down because it was just vignettes of this woman's life. And there's a way for that movie to have done like so much better organically speaking um and for that story to have come forward and um it was just like a really unfortunate thing that it didn't come through um Mm. the other movie that i feel could have done a lot better was bhedia um Mm. 
I didn't mention this in my uh, soundtrack list, but like actually, like this is my honorable mention in the soundtrack list because I think the movie, the songs in this movie are actually really good. But nobody is talking about it because the marketing for this movie was shit, and also it was it sort of faltered towards the end, and I feel like if they had done like a little bit better job of like figuring out what the climax of this movie was going to be and how to better portray the journey that Varun Dhawan's character makes throughout the film, I think it would have been more successful. So like Varun and Alia together again. Mm. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, my underwhelming, I had actually a whole list of that. So there's a few that I have here is uh, Anik, um, mm-hmm. The Ayushman Kurana movie. Uh, I, I had high hopes because of Article 15, uh, but this movie was just an utter mess. Juk Juk Jio, Varun Dhawan and Anil Kapoor, like literally two of my favorite people on screen, and the movie wasn't great. Uh, Vikram Veda didn't work either for me. I had high hopes, and mm-hmm. I think that's been like a general sentiment across the board for this movie. Like it didn't yeah. reach what it needed to reach. Uh, the cast that they had, the filmmakers that they brought back, and like just the the thing. But my biggest disappointment or underwhelming moment was uh, Shamshera. Yeah, um, same. It's, uh, you know, coming off of Agnipath, and you know, Ranbir being back, I love him, and you know, um, like the scale that they put on, they worked on such a long time. Vani Kapoor still being hostage, and that damn flower, flower bag baby that they give her. Um, <laughs> It's uh, yeah, Shamshera is the top uh, underwhelming for me, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it, like it could have been so much more with the budget and the production of Yashraj behind it, and the, if they could have just you know honed down the script to make it absolutely masala, because it yeah. did not commit to it. Like it was there in that zone, but it did not commit to it. I it just hurts so much more um the other mention that i have that could have been like a cracking sort of a cult following sh- movie is love hostel uh with um uh, vikrant masi and uh, what's her face uh, uh, sanya malhotra and bobby Devol plays um an assassin in it and i think those three could have had a really cracking time if the if the movie was a little tighter and it was it was trying to get there but it just couldn't and i really like to see uh, bobby in this uh, you know in this form of a silent assassin just ruthlessly killing people he's really good at it and uh, more of this please is this on z5 I yeah i actually didn't even know yeah yeah okay yeah yeah, That's... Shamshera just makes me think of that Lauren Hill lyric from X Factor, you know? It could mm. all be so simple, but you'd rather make it hard, you know? <laughs> like <it's>, that, <laughs> that's what I was thinking yeah. about. Um, a- any other honorable mentions or anything like that that you had on the list that we haven't discussed? I've got a few. Um, so my uh, honorable mentions were Kala and Gehraya, and we have already talked about it. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had uh, Good Luck Jerry on it um, with uh, Janvi Kapoor. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am sure nobody has watched that movie, but it's no. quite nice. And I know everybody will say the original is better, but I thought Janvi was doing some really interesting things there. Uh, Jalsa, it wasn't on my list, but it's one of my honorable mentions. And then two was Brahmastra and uh, Gangubai Katyawadi. Okay. Uh, those were my honorable mentions. Yeah. yeah. Amrita, that's- did you have any other that you wanted to add? Nope. That's me. Cool. Uh, I think uh, that's it for this episode, right? I think we're yeah. done talking for this episode. We're done talking for the year. <laughs> I think we did a lot of talking. And I hope people enjoyed our talking. And they, you know, uh, they hope, uh, I hope they enjoyed to- our talking next year too, which will be back. I think probably in the first episode will be what we're looking forward to in 2023. So, uh, but um, uh, yeah, I think... Uh, let's just have a christmas break um be safe be happy be with your close ones and give them a big big hug um i think that's what we all need now and uh, i want to give you guys a virtual hug to my audience and to my co-hosts because i love you guys so much um yeah that's it from us Uh, amrita any final words of the year or you know signing off just a big thank you to everybody for being such a big support throughout these two very dark years 
And I'm so glad that uh, we all get to hang out and talk about things that we love for, you know, for as long as we have this show. Because sometimes, mm. like, I feel like the only thing that anybody ever talks about is, like, doom and gloom and how we're all going to die. So it's, like, really nice to just talk about things that maybe don't mean anything in, you know, in the larger context, but makes life more worthwhile. Lovely. Sujoy? I don't have any wise words. Uh, thank you for enjoying our <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's very on brand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great. Amrita, where can people find you online? You can find me on Twitter at Amrita IQ or on Instagram at Amrita by the book. Sujoy? You can find me on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok at 93K. And you can also follow the Khandan Podcast on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok at Khandan Podcast. <laughs> Drop us an email with your lists, things that we missed out. Did, did Maybe we put it on the wrong number or, you know, in the wrong ranking or, you know, something that we should have hyped a little bit more. Drop us an email at upodcasting.gmail.com or become a patron from $1. There's cool things happening next year for sure. I cannot ex- explain now, but they're happening. So sign up to be kind of first and then... We have a community there. We already had a few lists sent to us, which I kind of included in this one. Uh, But always love hearing from our Patreon. So sign up there. And I wish you all an amazing end of the year. And I'm looking forward to chatting with everybody again in the next year. Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Happy everything else that you celebrate or don't celebrate. And, you know, if you are feeling alone, just listen to our podcast and laugh with us. Enjoy it. Thanks for listening, guys. And uh, we'll be back again next year with a new episode. Hey. 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 Hey.